So today we are going to learn about periodic sequences. What is a periodic sequence? A periodic sequence is a numeric sequence with a repeating pattern within it. A little confusing, so we're gonna take a look at some examples. So in this first example, which I'm gonna label example number one, we see the sequence two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, six. In here, we can see a repeating pattern of the numbers two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, six. And that's what makes this a periodic sequence. The entire sequence is just this repeating pattern of numbers. In the second example, we see something similar. We have the sequence five, four, five, four, five, four. In this sequence, we see this repeating pattern of five, four, five, four, five, four. Simple enough. Example number three is where we get a little trickier. We can't necessarily find the sequence of the fraction six over nine, but if we convert the fraction six over nine into decimal form, we get 0 0.66666 going on until forever. And in this sequence of 0 0.666, there is a repeating pattern. The number six, this number six shows up again and again. And if we look at example number four, the fraction three over seven converted into a decimal form is 0 0.428571, 428571. And we again see this repeating pattern of 428571, 428571. And this characteristic of this repeating set of numbers, so the repeating number within the sequence is what makes all four examples periodic sequences. And so one thing we may be asked when we're solving and we're dealing with periodic sequences is the period. What is the period? The period is the number of items in the repeated part of the sequence. Also a little confusing. So we're gonna go back to our initial examples and we're gonna try and find the period of each of these examples. So in example number one, we see the pattern 246, 246, 246. We know the repeating part of the sequence is 246. And if the period is the number of items within the repeated part of a sequence, then we can say that the period is three. Let's look at number two together. In the second example, we see that the sequence is 545454. We know that the repeated part of the sequence is five, four. The number of items in this repeated part of the sequence is two. Therefore, the period of this sequence is two. For example, number three, we know the sequence is 0 0.66666. Six is the repeated part of the sequence. And the number of items in this repeated part of the sequence is just one. Therefore, the period is one. And in this last example, number four, we know that the repeated part of the sequence is 428571. We know the number of items within this repeated part of the sequence is six. Therefore, the period is six. Great. So now we're gonna do some example problems together, some practice problems. Are the following practice problems periodic sequences? And if so, what's the period? So I'm gonna give you a second to do practice problem one, pause if you need to. First determine whether the sequence is periodic, and if it is periodic, what is the period? So we know that practice problem number one is not a periodic sequence. So I'm gonna write that. Not a periodic sequence. Why? 
because there's no repeated part of the sequence. All of these are independent numbers, independent pattern. We don't really know anything about the sequence, but we don't see a repeating pattern within this sequence. And if there's not a periodic sequence, there's no period. Take a second to do practice problem number two on your own. Remember, it's a little tricky. You have to convert the fraction into the decimal before you can determine whether or not it's a periodic sequence. Yeah, so when we convert 1 over 4 into a decimal, we get 0 0.25. Well, 0 0.25 is not even a sequence. It's just 0.25. And so therefore, we can say that this is not a periodic sequence. And since it is not a periodic sequence, it doesn't have a period. Okay, your turn again. Try practice problem number three. Yeah, so this is a periodic sequence, yes. Yes, it is a periodic sequence. We can see that the repeating part of the sequence is this 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7. Incredible. And now that we know it is a periodic sequence, we can determine what the period of the sequence is. And so the period of the sequence, remember, if we go back, is the number of items in the repeated part of a sequence. So if the repeated part of the sequence is 5, 7, the number of items in this repeated part of the sequence is 2. Therefore, the period is 2. Great. Try the last one on your own. Yes, yeah, so this is a periodic sequence. Because we see that the repeated part of the sequence is 3974, 3974, 3974. And since this, since this is a periodic sequence, we know that there, it has a period. We know the period is the number of items within a repeated part of a sequence. So the number of items in this repeated part of the sequence is 4. Therefore, the period is 4. And now I'm sure you're thinking, what is the real world example of periodic sequences? When are we going to see this in our real life? Well, I can tell you, you deal with periodic sequences every single day. So in the real world, the most common place that you will find periodic sequences are clocks. And don't worry, I'll show you how. I'm going to draw you a clock. Now this is my clock. My clock has a center point here. And my clock has the numbers 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. My clock has a short hand, and my clock has a long hand. And as I move throughout my day, my clock goes from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 to 9 to 10 to 11 to 12 and back to one, two, three, four. See how that's a periodic sequence? Because we're going through our day from one to 12, and then back to one, and then back to 12. Challenge problem. What is the period in this periodic sequence? Yes, the period is 12 because that is the number of items in this repeated part of the sequence.